A kiss. Carlos buys a new car. It's a very expensive car. It's a huge, blue, fast car. While driving down the street, Carlos sees a girl on a bicycle. She has long blonde hair and is beautiful. He yells to her, what's up? She ignores him. He yells, how's it going? She keeps going and ignores him. He yells, hey, why won't you talk to me? I want to go to dinner with you. I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. The girl turns, gets off the bike, and looks at him. She says, I don't want to go to dinner, but if you give me your car, I will give you a surprise. Carlos says, okay. He jumps out of the car. He gives her the keys and says, here are the keys. The beautiful blonde takes the keys and then kisses Carlos on the cheek. Then she jumps into the car and drives away. Carlos stands on the sidewalk. Now he has no car and no girl. He says, that's it? Just a kiss on the cheek? He gets on her bike and rides home. Welcome to the mini story for a kiss. In this lesson, I will ask many questions. You must answer every question. Answer every question. Pause your computer or pause your iPod, answer the question, then play again. It's very important, very important. Answer every question. Okay, let's start. A kiss. Carlos bought a new car. Did Carlos buy a new car? Yes, yes, of course. He bought a new car. Did Carlos buy an old car? No, Carlos didn't buy an old car. Carlos bought a new car. Did Carlos buy an old car or a new car? A new car. Carlos bought a new car. Who bought a new car? Carlos, right? Carlos bought a new car. What did Carlos buy? A new car. Carlos bought a new car. Was the car expensive or was the car cheap? Ah, it was expensive, right? Carlos bought a very expensive car. Did Carlos buy an expensive bicycle? No, no, he didn't. He didn't buy an expensive bicycle. What did he buy? He bought an expensive car. Was the car small? No, no, it wasn't small. He bought a huge car, a very, very big car. How big was the car? Mm. It was huge. It was huge. Was it a huge bicycle? No, no, it wasn't a huge bicycle. It was a huge car. Who bought the huge car? Carlos. Carlos bought the huge car. What color was the car? Was it yellow? No. What color was the car? Blue. It was blue. It was a huge blue fast car. 
While driving down the street, Carlos saw a girl on a bicycle. What did he see while driving down the street? He saw a girl on a bicycle while driving down the street. While driving down the street, did Carlos see a dog? No, no he didn't. While driving down the street, Carlos saw a girl. While driving down the street, did Carlos see a girl in a car? No, no, she wasn't in a car. Not in a car. While driving down the street, Carlos saw a girl on a bicycle. When did Carlos see a girl on a bicycle? Well, while driving down the street, right? While driving down the street, Carlos saw a girl on a bicycle. Who saw a girl on a bicycle while he was driving down the street? Oh, Carlos, right? Carlos saw a girl on a bicycle while he was driving down the street. Where was Carlos driving? Ah, oh, driving down the street, right? Down the street. Carlos was driving down the street. Where was the girl? Huh? On a bicycle, right? The girl was on a bicycle. So while driving down the street, Carlos saw a girl on a bicycle. She had long blonde hair and was beautiful. What did she look like? Hmm. Look like means was she ugly? Was she beautiful? Was her hair black, brown? Look like means how does she look? Her hair, her face. So what did she look like? Well, she had long blonde hair and she was beautiful. What did she look like? Ah, she had long blonde hair and she was beautiful. Did she look beautiful? Yes, yes, she looked beautiful. Did she look ugly or did she look beautiful? No, she looked beautiful. Who looked beautiful? Ah, the girl, right? The girl on the bicycle. The girl on the bicycle looked beautiful. Carlos yelled to her. What did he yell? He yelled, What's up? Who yelled, What's up? Carlos, right? Carlos yelled, what's up? Did the girl yell, what's up? No, the girl didn't yell, what's up? Carlos yelled, what's up? Who did Carlos yell to? Ah, the girl, right? Carlos yelled to the girl. Did Carlos yell to a boy? No, he didn't yell to a boy. Carlos yelled to a girl. Which girl did Carlos yell to? Which girl did Carlos yell to? Ah, uh, the girl on the bicycle, right? He yelled to the girl on a bicycle. 
What did he yell to the girl on a bicycle? He yelled, what's up? After he yelled, what's up? Did the girl ignore him? Yes, yes, she did. She ignored him. Who ignored Carlos? Ah, uh, the girl. The girl on the bicycle. Did Carlos ignore her? No, no, Carlos didn't ignore her. Carlos yelled to her. She ignored him. Did she listen to Carlos? No, she didn't listen to Carlos. She ignored him. Did she look at Carlos? No, she didn't. She ignored him. Carlos yelled again. How's it going? What did he yell? How's it going? Did he yell, how's it going? To the girl or to his mother? Well, of course, he yelled, how's it going? To the girl. Did he yell, how's it going? Or did he whisper, how's it going? Whisper, whisper means talk very quietly, right? Opposite of yell. So we have yell and whisper. I am whispering. Did Carlos whisper or did he yell? How's it going? He yelled. Carlos yelled. How's it going? He didn't whisper. How's it going? He yelled. How's it going? After he yelled, how's it going? Did the girl stop? No, she didn't. The girl didn't stop. The girl kept going. Did the girl keep going? Yes, the girl kept going. Did she continue going? Yes, she continued, right? She kept going. Who kept going? The girl. The girl kept going. He yelled again. Hey, why won't you talk to me? I want to go to dinner with you. I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. Where did he want to take her? To an expensive restaurant. He wanted to take her to an expensive restaurant. Okay, this is the end of mini story A. Listen to this many times and then go to mini story B. Hello, welcome to mini story B. Let's continue. Carlos asked the girl, why won't you talk to me? Would the girl talk to him in the past before would she talk to him no no she wouldn't she would not talk to him who would not talk to Carlos the girl right the beautiful girl the beautiful girl wouldn't talk to Carlos Would the beautiful girl talk to Carlos? No, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't talk to Carlos. 
the beautiful girl, wouldn't talk to Carlos. Carlos wanted to go to dinner with her. And he yelled, I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. What kind of restaurant did Carlos want to take the girl to? What kind? Huh? An expensive restaurant. Right? He wanted to take her to an expensive restaurant. He said, this is future now, I'll take you, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. Did he want to take her to a cheap restaurant? No, not to a cheap restaurant. He wanted to take her to an expensive restaurant. Finally, the girl turned. She got off her bike and she looked at him. She said, I don't want to go to dinner. Did she want to go to dinner? No. What did she want? Ah, she wanted his car, right? His car. She wanted his car. Who wanted Carlos's car? The girl, the beautiful girl, wanted Carlos's car. Did she want Carlos's bicycle? No. No. She wanted his car. She wanted Carlos's car. Whose car did she want? She wanted Carlos's car. Did she want Carlos's car or Carlos's truck? She wanted Carlos's car. She said, if you give me your car, I will give you a surprise. Ah, what did she say? Hmm? She said, if you give me your car, I will give you a surprise. What did Carlos say? He said, okay. Who said, okay? Carlos. Who did Carlos talk to? Talk to. Huh. The beautiful girl, right? Carlos said okay to the beautiful girl. Carlos talked to the beautiful girl. He said okay. After he said okay, what did he do? Huh? He jumped out of his car. Whose car did he jump out of? His car, right? His own car. He jumped out of his car and said, Okay! Then he gave her the keys and said, Here are the keys. What did he give her? Ah, the keys, right? The keys to his car. Who gave the keys to the beautiful girl. Carlos. Carlos gave the keys to the beautiful girl. Who did Carlos give his keys to? Huh? To the beautiful girl. He gave his keys to the beautiful girl. What did he give to her? His keys. Did he give his house keys to the girl? No, not his house keys. Did he give his car keys to the girl? Yes, that's right. 
he gave his car keys to the girl. Which keys did he give to the girl? Car keys, right? He gave the car keys to the girl. Not his house keys, not other keys. He gave only the car keys. Which keys did he give? That's right, the car keys. He said, here are the keys. The beautiful blonde took the keys. What did she take? The keys, that's right. She took the keys. Who took the keys? The beautiful blonde girl. Who took the keys? The beautiful blonde girl. What kind of girl was she? Oh, she was a beautiful blonde girl. Right? What kind of keys did she take? Ah, car keys, right? She took car keys. Who took the car keys? The beautiful girl. She took the car keys and then she kissed Carlos on the cheek. Who did she kiss on the cheek? Carlos. She kissed Carlos on the cheek. Where did she kiss Carlos? On the cheek. She kissed Carlos on the cheek. Did she kiss Carlos on the nose? No, she didn't kiss Carlos on the nose. She kissed Carlos on the cheek. Who? kissed Carlos on the cheek. The beautiful girl. The beautiful girl kissed Carlos on the cheek. What did she do? She kissed Carlos. When did she kiss Carlos on the cheek? When did she kiss Carlos on the cheek? Ah, after she took the keys, right? After she took the keys, she kissed Carlos on the cheek. Did she kiss Carlos before she took the keys? No. She didn't kiss Carlos before she took the keys. She kissed Carlos after she took the keys. After she took the keys and after she kissed Carlos, what did she do? Uh, jumped in the car. Right? After she kissed Carlos, she jumped in the car. Did she jump onto her bicycle? No, she didn't jump onto her bicycle. She jumped into the car. Did she jump into the car or did she jump onto her bicycle? She jumped into the car. Whose car did she jump into? Carlos's, Carlos's, is, is, that is, Carlos's means it's his car, right? It's possessive, his car. Whose car is it? It's Carlos's. So she jumped into Carlos's car. Did she jump into AJ's car or Carlos's car? She jumped into Carlos's car. What did she do? She jumped into Carlos's car. And then she drove away. Did she walk away? 
No, no, she didn't walk away. Did she run away? No, she didn't run away. She drove away. Who drove away? The beautiful girl. When did she drive away? She drove away after she jumped into the car, right? After she jumped into the car. Carlos stood on the sidewalk. He had no car and he had no girl. He said, that's it? Just a kiss on the cheek. Uh, did Carlos get more? No, no, no. He said, that's it. Right? Nothing more. Who said, that's it? Carlos. He said, that's it. Just a kiss on the cheek. Okay, nothing more for Carlos. He stood on the sidewalk. Did he sit on the sidewalk? No, he didn't sit on the sidewalk. He stood on the the sidewalk. Where did Carlos stand? Well, Carlos stood on the sidewalk. Did he stand on the street or did he stand on the sidewalk? Well, he stood on the sidewalk. Carlos stood on the sidewalk. Was he happy when he stood on the sidewalk? No, no, he wasn't happy. He had no car and no girl. He wasn't happy when he stood on the sidewalk. What did he say? He said, that's it? Just a kiss on the cheek. He got on her bike and rode home. Did he ride to work? No, no, he didn't ride to work. He rode home. Did he ride to his friend's house? No, he didn't ride to his friend's house. He rode home. Where did he ride? No, he rode home. Who rode home? Carlos. Carlos rode home. On what did he ride home? On what did he ride home? On her bike, right? He rode home on her bike. What did he ride home on? On. Ah, on her bike. He rode home on her bike. What did he ride home on? He rode home on her bike. Did he ride home in a car? Or did he ride home on a bike? On a bike. He rode home on a bike. Okay, that's it for mini story B. Welcome to the vocabulary lesson for a kiss. Okay, let's start. Carlos buys a new car. It's very expensive. It's a huge blue fast car. Huge. Huge means very, very big, super big. So that's huge, huge. Huge means very, very big, very, very, very big. It's a very, very big car. It's a huge car. Okay. While driving down the street, he sees a girl. 
So while means at the same time. Same time. Driving down the street, seeing the girl, same time. They happen at the same time. So while driving down the street, Carlos sees a girl on a bicycle. Okay, he yells to her, what's up? What's up is a common way to say hello. We say, what's up? What's up? It's very popular to say, what's up? So in instead of saying hello, if you have a friend, you see your friend, someone you know, you say, what's up? When I see my friends, sometimes I say, what's up? It means hello or how are you? So What's up? What's up? So Carlos says, what's up to the girl? But she ignores him. To ignore means you don't listen to someone and you don't pay attention to someone. You don't look at them. You don't listen to them. That's ignore. Say, he ignored her means he did not listen to her. He did not look at her. He ignored her or ignores, present, ignores. She ignores Carlos. She does not look at Carlos. She does not listen to Carlos. She ignores him. And then Carlos yells, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going means, how are you? How are you? We often say, how's it going? Or, how's it going? The, the last sound, g, sometimes g, going, going. Sometimes no g sound, going, going, going. It's the same meaning, same, just different pronunciation. So, how's it going means, how are you? So he yells to her, how's it going? She keeps walking and ignores him. Keeps, here, keeps means continues. Now, keep has another meaning. Keep can mean something else. But here, in this article, keeps means continues, continues. She continues walking. She keeps walking. Okay, keeps and continues. So she keeps walking and she ignores him. He yells, hey, why won't you talk to me? Okay, won't means will not. Okay, why will you not talk to me is what he's saying. But in normal speech, normal speaking, we don't say will not. We usually say won't. I won't go to the store. Means I will not go to the store. And it's future, right? Future. So he asks her, why won't you talk to me? Why will you not talk to me? And he says, I want to go to dinner with you. Okay, He wants a date. He wants to go to a restaurant with her. He says, I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. Not a cheap restaurant, right? He wants to take her to an expensive restaurant. Finally, the girl turns and looks at him. And she says, I don't want to go to dinner. But, she says, if you give me your car, I will give you a surprise. Oh, give me your car, and I will give you a surprise. So, if you give me your car, so he has to do that first, the first action, and then the, if that happens, then she will give him a surprise. So Carlos says, okay, because she's beautiful. He jumps out of the car. He gives her the keys. And he says, 
here are the keys. Okay, here are the keys. We usually say here, here is the book. Here are the keys. We say here is or here are when we give something to someone. Here is the key. Here is the money. Here are the keys. Okay, so Carlos gives the keys to the beautiful blonde girl. The beautiful blonde girl takes the keys and then kisses Carlos on the cheek. Cheek is the side of your face, right? So she kisses Carlos on the side of his face, on the cheek. Mwah! Okay, just on the cheek. Then she jumps into the car and drives away. Carlos stands on the sidewalk. Now, sidewalk is next to the street, right? It's where people walk. So the street, the street is for cars, cars and buses only. And the sidewalk next to the street, right? Where sidewalk where people walk, side of the street. Okay, so he stands on the sidewalk and now he has no car and no girl. He says, that's it? Just a kiss on the cheek? Okay, that's it. That's it? That's it means there is no more. There is nothing more. Nothing more is coming. Nothing more to get. Nothing more to do. So it basically means finished. So he says, that's it. It means he only got a kiss. He will not get more from her. He will not get something else. Only a kiss. That's it. Sometimes we say, that's all. That's all. Same meaning. That's all or that's it means totally finished. In a restaurant, you will use this. When you finish eating, the waiter or the waitress will come and ask you, do you want something else? Do you want more food? Do you want more drinks? Okay, if you're finished, you say, that's it. That's it means we are finished eating. We don't want more food. We don't want more drinks. Right? We are finished. Bring the check. Bring the bill. So at the end, when you finish eating in a restaurant, tell the waiter, that's it. Right? Means you're finished. Okay. And then he says, that's it. Just a kiss on the cheek. Then he gets on her bike. He gets on the girl's bicycle. Bicycle or bike. Same. And he rides home. Poor Carlos. Okay, that's it. That's it. The lesson is finished. The vocabulary lesson is finished. That's it.